And welcome to this week's Technology Thursday. I'm the Director of Precision Ag, Jeff Buick. And this week we're going to take a step outside of the world of Green Star and look at technology as it relates to other departments in our dealership. And recently I just signed up for CMB Central. And we've got a guest with us here today that's going to tell us a little bit more about what CMB Central is, some of the highlights and how it can benefit you and your operation. Thanks, Jeff. My name is Jack Gerhard. I'm the Director of uh, Aftermarket Strategy for CMB Operations. As Jeff mentioned, we've got a great new platform here called CMB Central, and we want to just quickly run through some of the capabilities of, of this site. Uh, to begin with, we're looking at the landing page for, for CMB Central, and the, you'll notice promotions that are currently running at, at our dealerships. So that'll be something you'll get accustomed to seeing here. Um, and we can do probably the, the part that's in demand the most is to be able to order parts 24 hours a day uh, when it's convenient for you and not just convenient for us. So if we look at that tab quickly, there's about three different ways here to order parts using quick reference guides. Uh, if you already know your part numbers, you can upload them or load them manually, or you can go out to the uh, JD Parts catalog and search for them by, by, ser by model or serial number. So some, some great options there. One of the things when you're in here that really stood out to me, Jack, is when you get your items into your cart, that you can actually assign that part to a specific machine that you have in your organization. So now we're tracking our expenses per machine that we run over the parts counter. And I know that's a, a big request I've had from a lot of people. I was excited to see that. Exactly, that's a great point. Uh, we can also, many of you are running uh, parts on site cabinets. Uh, now with uh, CMB Central, we can actually manage uh, minimum levels and reorder levels to help restock uh, based on any, any criteria you create, one click restocking or restock all after you've inventoried your cabinet and, and an order pushes right into your shopping cart and you're ready to go to update that. Uh, we can request service. Uh, we At this point, this is a non-emergency service request, but maybe you, you want to get, get your name in for a fall inspection on your lawnmower or your combine or literally any piece, you can just fill out the request form and that and the service manager will respond to that. Um, some of the great administrative features here is you can make a payment through this portal too. So you're watching the football game at night, want to, want to work on some bills, you can go out, either pay your house account or link out to John Deere Financial and pay your multi-use account as well using credit card or, or any variety of payment methods. Um, and also see your uh, transaction history. Here's, uh, we're looking at the last seven days. We have, this customer's got three parts invoices pending here that he can look at and uh, you can search uh, by any, any dates that you like and see a bar graph of paid and open invoices and so forth. We can make sure everything's current up here too. And if you want to, you can hit the little PDF icon. It shows you the actual invoice that was at the parts counter. So if for some reason it went between the seat of your pickup on the way home, uh, we can just pull it up here and reprint it off real quickly. And, and another big favorite on this tab is the ability to view, view statements. So you can print your whole monthly statement out as well by clicking on that link, okay? Uh, payment history, again, just a, uh, a search item of, of whatever time frame you want to look at your, your payment history that you've made. Uh, we can look at, again, invoices, searching by invoice number or purchase order number, depending on uh, what your business operates on. And then coming into my equipment, uh, one thing that's unique about CMB Central is it's actually linked to your eQuip account at your John Deere dealership. So your equipment that's registered in your name is gonna populate on this page. You might find that you've got some equipment that may be sold privately or something that need to get removed. This facilitates that removal. You can click add a piece up here and add a piece that maybe you bought on auction that we don't have registered now. Um, you can also order parts. Anything with these gears here allows you to quickly do a search by the serial number here. It's a really great fourth option to, to order parts. So a lot of functionality here uh, that, that's also- Before we move forward, when I was clicking through here on this JD Link button, if you have JD Link equipment in your operation today, uh, it's keeping track of the hours on your machine and we tie that to service recommendations from Deere. It'll list out what they recommend for you to check and change parts and fluids 
ties right back through uh, John Deere Parts Advisor back into CMB Central so you can order those parts and fluids for the service intervals that Deere's recommending. So, and last, uh, find, find equipment. So who doesn't like uh, you know, looking at used equipment? This quick link takes you into the, to the used equipment uh, uh, menu for, for all of uh, CMB's inventory. You've got filters up here to use to uh, do, do quick searches. And if you find something you like, you can actually push your request out to that salesman for follow-up. So another, another nice feature of CMB Central. So CMB Central really allows us to be the dealer of choice at any hour of any day. With this week's Technology Thursday, I'm Jeff Buick. And I'm Jack Gerhardt. Committed to being your dealer of choice.